Shalom, shalom, family, this is Ari and the brethren. Let's get straight into it. So I did a video about Dwight Howard and the agenda. And I think we all know what the agenda is. And in that video, I also showed a video of Dwight Howard's behavior um, as far as the things that he was doing. Um, in that particular video, it showed him trying to grab a man between the legs. Uh, this was, I don't know, maybe five, six, maybe seven years ago. It's an old video. And now he's dealing with this current situation of a lawsuit. So I'm going to read, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read a little bit about it. And then we're going to do some discussion. So let's get into it. <clears throat> it says here. Former NBA star Dwight Howard denies sexual assault lawsuit filed by Georgia man. This is in uh, Atlanta. It says Dwight Howard has denied accusations by a Georgia man who says he was sexually assaulted by the former NBA star and another person. Stephen Harper filed a state civil lawsuit against Howard in July, alleging assault and battery false imprisonment, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. No criminal charges have been filed against Howard. In a response filed this week by his attorney, Howard described the 2021 encounter at his home in the Atlanta suburbs as consensual, consensual and requested that the case be dismissed. So in other words, they're saying that they both agreed on this. It was consensual. Uh, Harper's lawsuit says he met Howard through Instagram. They exchanged the explicit text messages before arranging to meet at Howard's home on July 19, 2021. It goes on to say he made his way there and it says Harper says Howard texted him to ask if another man or woman could join their planned sexual encounter. Harper says he told Howard he was not interested. Once at Howard's home, Harper claims they were joined by a man dressed as a woman who identified only as Kitty. Harper says he tried to resist the two men, but Howard and Kitty forced him to participate in sexual activity. It goes on to say Harper was trapped in the bedroom. Uh, he believed that he was going to... Get uh, suffer bodily harm. Then, uh, says afterwards, Harper felt extremely violated and humiliated and was in complete shock. I'm not going to read all of this, but that's the gist of kind of what's going on with Howard. Got to read this Bible verse for you guys real quick because it makes me think about it, right? It says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Good while back, uh, Dwight Howard, uh, this is SB Nation, he was pretty upset that he didn't make the top 75 players of NBA history. I think that was the gist. Uh, let me see if I can find something here. Yeah, it says, this is Howard. He states, um, I can't go back and do anything right now, Howard said in a recent conversation with the uh, Athletic. But at the time, I was kind of bitter to hear that I wasn't on that list. So looking at the situation with Howard now and then looking back, you know how they say sometimes your past can predict your future. Um, in the video I did with Dwight Howard and the agenda, you can actually see when I don't know what team it was. Maybe it was the Charlotte. Hornets. I can't remember, but whatever team it was that he was playing for at the time, he was actually trying to grab guys between the legs and he was involved in a lot of um, odd behavior. I'm going to give you guys not one, but two words uh, today. One word is propensity, an inclination or a natural tendency to behave in a particular way. And here's another word I want you guys to listen. Lascivious. Lascivious of a person, behavior, or gesture, feeling or revealing an overt and often offensive sexual desire. 
let's take these two words, right? Dwight Howard has a propensity for lascivious behavior. And when you're dealing with an organization and you're trying to make the top 75 and you are wrapped up in all of these um, scandals, all of these weird, odd behaviors, there's going to be a lot of problems. And he was very bitter about that. And he went on different shows and talked about it. And then he went to uh, Taiwan and played basketball. But if you look at the past and we go straight to the future, look where we're at now. It's a lot of weird stuff going on. It, it almost seems like he is fighting a lot of demons. I'm going to go to one of Paul's epistles. He talked about this type of stuff, right? This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 19. Who being past feeling, who giving themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Paul dealt with individuals like this, and he watched well, Paul wrote an epistle, a letter to individuals who were dealing with these type of situations. So Dwight Howard is he's dealing with some things, people. Um, and it's going obviously it's going to be up to him to get the things that he's dealing with together. And again, I always when I do videos, my videos are not to put down anyone, but is to use them as an example, because I'm pretty sure there's people that you may know or personally, or it could be you dealing with this situation, because we as people all have demons, we all fight with things. But Dwight Howard is going to have to, you know, sit back and evaluate his life and get himself together. Um, as you can see, money doesn't make everything right. Sometimes it complicates things. As the Bible says, money can be a defense, but it also can be the root of evil. Because with more money, it allows you to do more evil. So there's no one-all, be-all. You have a yin and a yang. You have a good and a bad. But at the end of the day, um, I hope the brother Dwight Howard, you know, is able to get itself together and come out of this um, situation that he's in and make the right choices. That's all I got, family. This is Ari on the Brother. I want to say one love. Shalom.